I'm Mike Nealon. I'm uh, Vice President of Media Relations at uh, the Bellevue Communications Group in Philadelphia. Today we're out here at Newman University and uh, we're talking about uh, engaging with the media for small business owners. And uh, some people would think that's a treacherous road, but if you do it the right way and you plan accordingly, it can be a positive experience. Most small business owners think uh, the media out there is negative, um, and that's not true. When they call you, they're not necessarily doing a story to tear down your business. They may just need general information about how the industry works, how your business works, and what are uh, some of the best practices for you to get out your message. If you're a small business owner getting ready to uh, prep for an interview with a reporter, the first thing you want to do is try to narrow down three points of view that you have about your business or about a particular subject that they're reporting on. Uh, secondly, you also want to engage that reporter and do a pre-interview with them to figure out what are they writing about, what's their story angle, so then that'll allow you to prepare your remarks, prepare your quotes, and prepare your sound bites um, that will fit the story and fit the narrative of the reporter. Be conversational in your answers and in your responses. Also, always remember that the tape recorder or the camera is always on. It's probably never best to just say no comment. You're always better to say, if you don't have a particular answer at the moment, tell the reporter that you will research an answer and get back to them either later in the day or in a couple of hours. Uh, you always want to try to offer up some response rather than a simple no comment. As a small business owner, we would advise you not to go off the record. Keep all your answers on the record and speak uh, from a positive point of view about your business and about your perspective. Sometimes uh, you'll be asked questions about an absent source. They'll ask you to comment on something else happening in a different part of the country or a different region. If you haven't done the research yourself to investigate that question, you should not respond to it. You should offer a different perspective and only speak from your personal preference of what you see on a daily basis in your own particular business. Another avenue that small business owners should be aware of is questions that are irrelevant or don't fit their expertise. Uh, reporters will ask questions just to try to maybe um, just see how much knowledge you have on a particular subject. If it's irrelevant to you, you, you can clearly state, I'm sorry I don't have an answer to that question, but I will research it and try to get back to you. Small business owners should be aware that reporters will ask questions uh, in a hypothetical nature. Uh, it's never a good idea to answer hypothetical questions. Your job is to provide expertise and commentary on things that you can control and things that are in your wheelhouse that you feel comfortable talking about. So answering hypothetical questions is always dangerous. If you're a local business owner, part of your job, not only running your business, is to be a consumer of the local news. You should be reading the local paper, you should be watching local broadcasts. That way, when the media comes calling, you already know what perspective and what stories they cover, and so you can seamlessly transition to help them or be a good source or provide expert commentary.